Hey there, my name's Mark and I'm a bisexual man. Today I just wanted to talk about what I find attractive about women. That's right, I'm talking about the women, the girls, the ladies, the femmes, that side of the gender spectrum. Being a bisexual man, I'm obviously attracted to different genders and gender expressions. And as a sexuality coach, people ask me all the time, you know, about my own attractions. And I think it's really nice when we can share and we can all explore our sexuality together and hopefully relate on things. Um, so I'm just going to speak from my heart about what attracts me generally to that side of the spectrum. I'm being inclusive. Some things I will refer to will pertain to different types of women. So just bear with me on that one. But the first thing that comes to mind when I think about my attractions to women is softness. So it's about that soft skin. It's about those soft features, right? Lips, cheeks, the skin on the arms, the legs, the, the soft form of the feminine body. Now, I am attracted to men as well, and I will actually often seek that in a guy, if I'm attracted to a guy. Sometimes like a guy who has kind of softer, more delicate features than mine. But with women in general, those features tend to be more pronounced or more likely to find in someone with a feminine body. So I love softness. Uh, it, it drives me wild. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, the thing about softness, which is most exciting, I don't know why this is. I'm just human. It's just the way things are. I love that interaction between the soft form and my physical form. So my physical form is kind of more masculine. So it's harder. It's more firm. There's more kind of like muscle and it's kind of rougher and that interaction between the soft it's like delicate beautiful kind of uh, skin and features against mine which is more firm and hard is amazing you just like even touch a woman's cheek kiss her lips, for example, you know, I have like facial hair and my, my skin is a little, you know, firmer. And then just the softness of her lips against yours. And you have, you know, I'm quite tall and quite broad. So, you know, the, this masculine frame then with this kind of softer, more delicate feminine frame. Oh my gosh. It's just beautiful. And that holding, that interaction is just Mwah. Love, love, love a feminine, soft, feminine body. So that's the first thing. By the way, if you love this uh, content, then please subscribe because we've got loads more. I'm going to do loads more videos like this. I hope you enjoy. The second thing that I love about women, and this is a bit of a weird one, but it's kind of like the forbiddenness of it. When I'm with a guy, and I think a lot of queer men will, will say this, it feels more familiar, you know, it feels more like, okay, we're two guys, cool. It's like, there's a practicality about it. It's still very exciting, but it's like, it's lads. Um, there's something about a man and a woman. There's something about me being a man and being with a woman that, that feels more exciting. It feels more like, a privilege. It feels more like she's letting you into this almost like forbidden kind of world. And it just ignites that thing that we're conditioned with uh, as men, that, that this is a precious, beautiful privilege. Um, so often, you know, men and women are kind of separated and as a young man growing up you kind of look at them and it's like they're off limits you know um and so when a woman actually opens that door and is like yes i i want to open up to you 
there's like this excitement. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm getting to be welcomed into this, this world, this, this beautiful woman. And, and it's just exciting. And then of course, the more like flirtatious and kind of sexy you are, the more it brings up those kind of fun, exciting, naughty kind of fantasies about, you know, this is like mischievous, it's wrong, it's naughty, it's sexy, it's bad, it's forbidden. You know, all of those things which in real life we know aren't the way it is, but in the fantasy of it, in the attraction of it, there's just something very, very exciting about being a male who is being intimate with, with a female. By the way, if you're interested in these topics, if you're exploring your sexuality, you want to meet other people, you want to come on group chats with me and other people just like you, then join our Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash not defining. The link is up here. You can speak to me one on one and I can help you with any questions that you might have, mentor you and provide you with loads of extra content. And I also go super, super deep into my most intimate offerings on my exclusive podcast. So join us on Patreon. We would love, love, love to see you. So the next thing that I love about women is a little bit different. So there's kind of like two main categories of women that I personally tend to be drawn to. One is like the kind of sweet, delicate, girl next door um, archetype, right? I, I love that. I love sweetness. I love a beautiful smile. A kind of just that version of femininity is very, very alluring to me. But I also really, really, <laughs> really like a kind of more mature, uh, more dominant style of femininity. So maybe a woman who is a bit older than me maybe a bit more mature, maybe has more of a powerful persona. There's a lot of women, more mature women who are authority figures. When there is a woman who symbolizes that, maybe she's a bit older, maybe she's got that kind of like authoritative dominant personality. If a woman like that then is flirtatious with me or sees me as a sexual being or a, or a romantic interest, that really flips that whole archetype on its head and drives me crazy, <laughs> drives me crazy. So I, I love older women. Um, it's very, very exciting. Just again, it's that, it's that naughty fantasy. It's that kind of like very, very exciting interplay. Um, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So the next thing I love about women is kind of the difference in bodies. So I really, really love when you have somebody whose body reacts and responds and behaves in a really different way to my own. Um, a lot of the time when I'm with a guy, it's like hmm, we kind of know each other. You know, we kind of understand how our bodies are going to work. And it's a little bit more, or it tends to be a little bit more kind of known, like obvious. Whereas oftentimes when I'm with a woman, her body will be very, very different to mine. And so it's about exploring that. And I absolutely love that. I love to bring pleasure to a woman. I love to explore her body. I love to see how she reacts. A lot of the time, in my experience, women's bodies are very, very sensitive. Sensitive to touch, sensitive to emotions and to the, the environment that you're in. You know, their senses are just really, really heightened to a lot of different things that most of the time men's aren't. And so I absolutely love, particularly the kind of inner world oftentimes that when I've been with women, they will go into, it's like pleasure is this internal kind of spiritual almost experience. It's, it's 
it's like something else and it's not something that I experience. Um, and it's just that difference and that, that connection is just so exciting and exploring it is, is truly wonderful. And the final thing that I would say about women is since I've become more open in my queerness as a bisexual man, as a, as a queer man, as a kind of gender non-conforming, non-binary, masculine person, whatever, I have met the most incredible, incredible queer women. And I used to think that man was one way and woman was another way. Well, I was so wrong. I have met the most incredible, incredible, diverse, varied, wonderful, attractive women in my life. And women never cease to amaze me. I think this is something I'd really love to convey to anybody watching this, particularly any men who think that women are one way. Oh my gosh, women are not one way. We are led to believe that women are, you know, always in the submissive role. Women are always, you know, into monogamy. Women uh, always want uh, a straight heterosexual man. Women always want you to be masculine and in control. All of this nonsense, it is so not true. And so I absolutely love queer women. I love the diversity of women, don't even have to be queer women, but just how much there is about women that I never ever knew before. And there is still so much for me to explore. I love it when um, a woman will enjoy my queer masculinity, when a woman accepts me, when, you know, we can share in our queerness together and our bisexuality together. Um, love, 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 love. I love women who are open to the different sides of their gender, to their femininity, but also to their masculinity and everything in between. I love it. Do you relate with anything that I've said? Does anything that I've said kind of mirror what, what you experience? Do you have any questions? Do you have any of your ideas and thoughts to share? I would love, love, love to have this conversation because it's so important. We should just be able to chat about these things openly and um, hopefully then we can just, yeah, relate and understand each other more. So please subscribe because I've got loads more coming out. If you would like to see other videos about what I like about men, and also the kind of differences between men and women and other things, then check out these coming up. I will speak to you again soon. Thank you so much for listening. I love you all. Bye for now.